I could not believe this story yesterday about Harry and Meghan. Just honestly stop the presses on this because I know I have been saying from day one, I want my credit where credit is due. I saw her coming before they even left the royal family when they started dating. I said she's going to get him back to L.A. because she's always been a D-list actress and what she wants to do is live in L.A. and be famous. And she made up the whole racism shtick because that is what was selling at that time during Black Lives Matter, even though nobody can look at her and tell that she's black. And she never wore the idea that she was black throughout her entire career. She never tried to play a black role. She always tried to make herself look white, straightening her hair. So this is absolute. It was always absolute BS. But what I also said and again, what the records show is that she is cosplaying Princess Diana. That I said that she has basically, she's provided for Freudian transference. Like she has convinced Prince Harry that she is Princess Diana and this time he could save her. That's how he agreed to leave the UK. Remember, she was pregnant, she was crying, and she said she was going to kill herself. And the media was so horrible to her obviously triggering to him, given that his mother died being chased by paparazzi. This is the most disturbing story. If this does not make everybody agree left and right that these two people need to go away, that they are both disgusting. I don't want to just say Meghan Markle because, Prince Harry, you are so fundamentally disgusting for harnessing your mother's death for riches and fame. That's what he's done the entire time. His book, everything. It was all about saying, my mommy died. Give me money. I'm going to sell out the rest of my family. He sold out his dead mother. He sold out his brother. He sold out his father. He sold out every, his grandmother. As, as she was on her deathbed, because he wanted to have millions and millions of dollars coming in. He's a sick person as well. But what they did yesterday really, really shows you how much they are trying to convince the world that she is, Meghan Markle, is Princess Diana. So their publicist released a statement, and I wanted you to read it in its entire. I want to read it in its entirety because it's very important. The statement reads, Last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Ms. Raglan were involved in a near- catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. This relentless pursuit, lasting over two hours, resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. Dissemination of these images, given the ways in which they were obtained, encourages a highly intrusive practice that is dangerous to all involved. A near catastrophic car chase because of a ring of paparazzi. If you cannot see the emotional manipulation and the mental illness that these two are suffering from from attention, essentially purposefully trying to be evocative of what happened to Princess Diana. We almost died last night on a two-hour car chase running from paparazzi. I call bull okay? I have lived in New York City for seven years of my life. You are not able to be on a high-speed chase for two hours. If you, first off, New York City is 13 miles long, okay? Two hours you were on a high-speed chase away from paparazzi? Are you guys kidding me? And a near death, what, going one mile per an hour as the, as the city traffic permits for, especially where they were in Midtown, which is exactly where my office used to be located? Absolute BS. Everyone knew it was BS the moment that they, that they stated it. And if you needed it further asserted, well, they took a taxi, and the taxi driver says, yeah, no, wasn't really that near fatal. Take a listen to their taxi cab driver. You know, I was crossing on 67th Street, and then uh, the security guard hailed me. And next thing you know, Prince Harry and his wife were hopping into my cab. And as we went a block, we got blocked by a garbage truck, and all of a sudden, paparazzi came and started taking pictures. And then instead, of, they were just about to give me the location where they were going to go, but then they told me to circle back to the precinct. So we circled back to the precinct. Uh, nice people. Uh, they look nervous. I mean, I think they were ch being chased the whole day or something, so they were pretty nervous. You know, but the security guard, he was on it. And what did you think about the description of this, you know, the, the near catastrophic event? Oh, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think that's all, you know, exaggerated and stuff like that. So don't read too much into that, you so, know. But the, as far as you were concerned, when they were in your taxi, you know, what, did you feel like you were in danger? No, no, in no. Danger? no. New York City is the safest place to be, right? And there's police stations, there's cops on every corner. So there's no need to be afraid in New York. You didn't see any cars going over curbs or people banging on oh, your window? Oh, I didn't see that. No, 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 no. No, that must have happened earlier if they were being chased before on like 57, like Mayor Adam was saying, but not with me. Yeah. 
but they did seem nervous to you. They did seem nervous. Yeah. Was it a good trip? Yeah, it was great, man. Ten minute drive, fifty dollars or cooks who you asked for, right? <laughs> you can't beat that. Wow, he sure doesn't sound like he almost survived a near-fatal near car crash. So what actually happened, by the way, guys, is, yes, there are paparazzi in New York. We know this. Somehow, these paparazzi have never almost killed Taylor Swift, who was there just a couple of weeks ago. These paparazzi have not almost killed every major A-list celebrity that descended for the Met Gala a couple of weeks ago, including the entire Kardashian empire with their global fame and recognition. None of these people almost died when the paparazzi were there. None of these people were involved with a ring of paparazzi that wanted to kill him. In fact, Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber live in New York City and the paparazzi have their addresses. And yet they've never tried to kill any of these much more famous individuals. But of course, Prince Harry and his perpetual victim wife almost died. The paparazzi almost killed him. Instead of just saying, oh, there were paparazzi that followed us out of this building and wanted to see where we were going, obviously the paparazzi would have continued to take pictures and try to follow them, as is the circumstance that happens when you are a celebrity. They needed to make people think that they almost died because they have over and over again tried to evoke his mother's legacy and his mother's death for their own power. It's sick. It's absolutely sickening. And any person that stands by this couple after this, you have no moral compass, right? You just you just love the idea that they're just a couple in love and not a psychotically manipulative couple that want to rake in millions and millions of dollars by continually stepping on his mother's tombstone. That is the truth about exactly what Prince Harry and Meghan are. Still don't believe me? Well, even the mayor of New York City is calling into question their little narrative. Take a listen. Uh, I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. That would be, I find it hard to believe, but we will find out the exact duration of it. But if it's uh, 10 minutes, a 10-minute chase is extremely dangerous in New York City. Uh, we have a lot of traffic, a lot of movement, a lot of people are using our streets. Uh, any type of high-speed chase uh, that involves uh, something of that nature uh, is inappropriate. You know, police do it under limited circumstances when they're going after violent uh, people. Uh, but to do it because you want to get the right uh, shot uh, can turn out to be a place where uh, people can be uh, uh, harmed in a real way. So what's the real narrative? Well, Prince Harry and Meghan left an event where paparazzi were waiting for them. The paparazzi didn't get a shot of them because they entered in through a back entrance because Prince Harry and Meghan basically want the paparazzi to follow them when they want to make money, like when he's selling his family down the river, when he's selling his book, when they're doing the Oprah interview. Paparazzi come in, but then some nights they don't want them. And when they left this event, they were going to a mysterious friend's house and they didn't want the paparazzi to follow them or to know where that mysterious friend was. So they told their security detail, which they were in originally in a black SUV to circle the block a few times and they were in traffic. So of course the paparazzi were able to pop up like cockroaches and continue to pick, take pictures of them. And so they said, oh no, what are we going to do? We don't want to go to the friends. We don't know, know where we're going. So what should we do? So they pulled into a police precinct and said, we're still being followed by paparazzi. And what do we do? And so they hailed them a cab, they got in the cab, and then they got, they got to their friend's house without anybody recognizing. No person was harmed, no person was fouled, but then in their demented little heads, they said, hmm, how can we be the victim of the story? Why don't we say that even though we've pretty much only been across 10 blocks for the last hour and a half, we'll say that we almost died like mom, like my mom did. Absolutely sickening. Stop supporting these people. Honestly, do them a favor and give them the privacy that they demand at random points while they ask for the exact opposite at other points. I can't stand this couple. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you like this video, you will like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking the link in the description.